Good morning and welcome to Coffee with Kristen. I hope everyone has a big cup of coffee and they are ready to learn about finance. Let's get started. Today on Elder Talk, Joe talks about what to look for when choosing a financial advisor. He goes into the steps that you need to take to find someone who will best guide you throughout your financial journey. This episode is great for anyone who has a financial advisor or is looking for one. It is also useful information for those of you who may have not considered having a financial advisor before because the episode goes into what they do and how one might be useful to you. They talk about how it's really important to have a really good relationship with your financial advisor because you might be with them hopefully through retirement. So that's a long relationship. <laughs> we are on episode two of Options Crash Course. And today, okay, Jim goes a little deeper into why we should and how to trade stock options. Now, okay, this material is a little more advanced and Jim himself recognizes that. So please let me read to you what he has to say about it. All right. I want people to watch that have the desire to learn this material. You don't need to be an expert, but you do need to build a foundation to start to understand how this works. It is going to take a while to understand, so be patient. We are trying to break down information barriers to teach you what you need to know. Basically, it can help protect your portfolio and accelerate returns, but it is not without risk, which is why you really need to watch these episodes so that you learn how to do it in a safe way. I found this really interesting article in the Wall Street Journal titled The Pandemic's Toll on Women's Careers. In this article, they discuss how women have kept a strong hold on their positions in the corporate workforce, but they are feeling burnt out. And a lot of that is because they feel like they aren't getting the same recognition, acknowledgement as their male coworkers. And I can totally relate to this. I, it's, it's interesting, the first reaction I had when I had a baby is, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna be as hireable. And that's a horrible reaction to have, but it's the reality of our life, really. And I do think things are progressing and changing, but this article definitely hit home. Um, I think women feel like they have to work so much harder to prove their worth in their position. Um, and so sometimes they're giving more than they have to give. And so I think all of us need to change our way of thinking and some of our behaviors to help women feel like they can take a moment to, to care for themselves. All of us need to change our mindset and our behaviors to help women feel like they are allowed to breathe. Little things like, all right, I'm, I'm not checking my emails after 6 p.m., 8 p.m., whatever it is, just everybody needs a break. And I thought this, um, I thought this article really highlighted an important topic that needs to be talked about more often. I'm gonna be discussing this a little more in depth tomorrow with Hillary on the wind down because we are two working mothers and we have a lot of thoughts about it. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me this week. I'll see you next week with more Coffee with Kristen. Make sure to watch all of these episodes on Roku and Apple TV.